I'm Jenny Bennett, Robin's daughter. First of all, on behalf of our family, I'd like to thank all of you here at JCP and the Friends of Jones for everything you've done to honor Mom today. It's truly extraordinary, and we're more grateful than we can say for your kindness and your generosity. I'm Jenny Bennett, Robin's daughter. When I was young, growing up on a cot in the back of the high school theater, I resented being known as Robin's daughter. People would always come to me, her colleagues, her students, members of our family or friends, and start out, your mother. <laughs> I knew that what followed would be a complaint about some impossible thing she expected of them, some outrageously true but impolitic thing she'd said, or a general complaint that she just didn't understand that people had, you know, limits. <laughs> I'd receive the complaints and apologize, try to make it better by being good, I worked very hard not to inconvenience people, or make a fuss, or stand out too much. I begged to be taken out of the gifted program when I was eight, so that no one in my third grade class would know I read three grade levels ahead of them because my mom taught me to read when I was two. <laughs> mom, it's embarrassing. <laughs> What's embarrassing? That you can read? <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the state. <laughs> when I started high school, there were only two in the whole county, and I attended FCHS, where my mom taught, where I'd basically grown up making dittos, playing fairies and children in the plays with teenagers. <laughs> Sitting on book to help them learn lines or remember their blocking, Pulling up spike tape, running the light board, the follow spot, the front of house, watching rehearsals, Robin's daughter. Mom didn't want me to be an actor, or in the theater at all. She wanted me to be president. <laughs> or an astronaut. President of the astronauts would have been fine. I discovered that I did want to be an actor much to her chagrin. But I just couldn't shake that Robin's daughter thing. I tried. I entered theater contests under a pseudonym. <laughs> but the jig was up if I won. Oh, you're Robin's daughter. As I aged, when i visit home from college or elsewhere and meet people, they'd always say, of course you're Robin's daughter. You look just like her. When I considered graduate acting programs, I really didn't want to audition for the PTTP at the University of Delaware, even though Mom kept telling me they were the best. My Aunt Tyne had attended the same program when it was in Milwaukee. The master movement teacher, Jewel Walker, had been my mom's teacher back in Carnegie Mellon in 1966, and on more than one occasion, Mom had roped him and his colleague Leslie Rydell into doing workshops and performances at various Georgia high school theater events that she helped coordinate. The last thing I wanted was to train in a place where I'd be Robin's daughter. But as I shopped for schools, I went to the theater. When I saw a terrific actor, I'd look in the program, check out their bio. Almost every one of the actors that inspired me, as it turned out, went to the PTTP. People are variable but excellent training is consistent. That had to be the common denominator. I had to choose. Would I go for the kind of training they got, or would I continue to resist the idea of spending three years somewhere people had known me as Robin's daughter since I was knee-high to a grasshopper? <laughs> I chose training. In graduate school and later, when I lived in Taiwan for seven years, teaching English through theater, making my own theater company there, mom would visit. She always wanted to have a vigorous discussion about directing or acting choices. 
or the resonance of a play with some social issue she was passionate about. She wanted to watch whatever class she could attend a rehearsal. When actors asked her afterwards if she had any notes for them, she believed they really wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> but Mom, you couldn't stand listening to her either. I know, Mom, but she asked Jen. If she didn't want to know, why would she ask? Because actors are weird. She probably just wanted you to say how terrific she was. Well then, she shouldn't have asked for notes. <laughs> you were terrific. <laughs> when Mom would call, I knew I'd be on the phone for at least an hour. She always had so much to say. Though today is the first day I've met many of you, I've heard stories of your struggles and successes for years. She'd call me to discuss exactly how Hurricane Katrina connected to Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> she'd call, freaked out that a play was going into tech, and she just didn't know how it was going to be ready. Then she'd call after final dress and report that it all came together. How Jake was a brilliant baker. How Charlie had once again made things work. How brilliant her musical director was. How Jaron got into Howard. How Erica was terrific. How Jones had won another award for excellence. How thoughtfully her kids had responded to the latest Goodman show. How David's final project was the most amazing integration of his theater training, his personal journey, and social justice. She was so proud of you. When she found out in late August how sick she was, that what she thought was a simple recurrent problem was in fact stage four cancer everywhere, her first concern was making sure her kids, you, were taken care of. She'd wake up exhausted and explain that she'd been teaching all night in her dreams. How'd it go? Brilliant. <laughs> it was brilliant. Solve problems all over the place. 